By default, JSON doesn't allow comment. So in this video, I'm going to show you the trick to how you can add comments into your .json file. So without further ado, let's begin now. One, two, three. Okay, so unlike HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, .json is strictly don't accept comments, but we can do a trick on that, how you can add a comments into your .json file. But before that, I just want to show it with you the different kind of, you know, adding in comments, but it depends on the language. So for the HTML, that's the comment for the HTML. Now, if for the HTML, now, if you are trying to put a comment into your CSS, like body, background red, you can throw comments like, this is a color. You can draw comments like that. Now for JavaScript, hi, this is an alert. So you can also put in something like this, similar with the CSS testing. So they accept comments. These languages accept comments, but in .json file, they don't accept this special character. Now we'll do some tricks so we can add comments into our .json file. I'm going to go into my terminal and install a .json. So let's type in npm init y to install our .json. Okay, in here. Now, so although this string um, is turning into green, which looks like a comment, you'll notice that it is throwing an error, which means .json doesn't accept this one. Even we try to use this .json, giving us an, an error. If you go into the terminal, you'll see saying a problem. Comments are not permitted in .json file. Um, let's also try the HTML if there's, yeah. So looks like HTML is the worst part. You cannot put a comments. Now, again, as I said, comments is not permitted in .json, in, in, in the, JSON file. So what we can do is just do the trick. So you notice in here, these are like the format and how you can, um, you know, the format for .json. So what I normally do when I want to put a comments um, in .json file. Okay, so let's say you want to restore this test scripts in here. Um, I normally do something like this. So we'll do like, um, Actually, let's put it in here. So I'm going to do comment one. I always put comment as my word. Comment one, comment two, comment three. I can do something like that. And just follow the structure. So structure is close and opening um, code with this another close and opening code. Now I put the comment in here in the code section. So let's say, um, script or to add script build i mean if you want to you know put your syntax because you're not so sure um with the syntax i always i'm not really so familiar how syntax work i always check the documentation so i love putting comments in dot in my dot json file to um give me better understanding um, in case I am lost with how this this works or you can also put your comments in one place maybe at the bottom part instead of chunking it like comment one comment two instead of chunking comments in in different um in different place and you can also use if this is too small for you like because here you can only put a single line in a comment, you can also use the curly bracket so you can add more comments in it. Let's say um, script, I'm uh, not script, 
actually comment do and then again we'll follow the syntax we can have that curly bracket there um and let's say one uh. and let's add more comments in here so that's the trick you can do for the comment. Um, let's add, we need to add comma in there. That's why it's drawing an error. So um, this is a comment and this is a comment too, actually. So it's, Purely, we are just following how this, um, you, we can use this curly bracket as a comment, as a comment too, so we can add more comments in a group. Um, yeah. And let's add more one. Three. It's just super bummer because you really need to initiate that in order to make that work, in order to make our comment work. Um, so I'm going to add another, so actually why I'm putting comma there. So, um, comment. So if that happens, you just need to put in another, um, this one to ignore the curly, um, the curly, what do you call that? Double coat. Okay, so it's still a comment. So we can do something like that. This um, write comment as your identifier or stuff. Okay, so this is the first way, um, first option to write a comment, a single line. If you wanna be um, multiple lines, you need to, you can do this one. So. The second option is using the bracket. You can also use the this one keyword, but I'm not sure if how. So keyword. Oh no. Comment two. I don't know. I don't think we can. We can sort of do so. Comment three. Is, so we can do something like this as well. Yeah, you can do something like this. Um, this is first. I think this one is better. First paragraph comment. And then we can just indent that. Um, yeah, you can have something like this. Second paragraph, comment, and third paragraph, comment. Yeah. So basically, if you notice here, the single line, we're just mimicking how this syntax look like. So it's a single line. And then if you want more, like if you have some bullets of, you know, maybe syntax, um, to remember, you can use the bracket, but if you want to have a comments of like a paragraph, how this, you know, pack, how this syntax work, you can use the, um, the RA function. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, just always remember how the format to avoid throwing some error. So still the same with the curly bracket, just don't forget, they always forgot it. Don't forget to put in a, um, a comma to separate your comments. So yeah, that's it. Hope it helps. And if you have any question, you can feel free to comment down below and thumbs up if you're liking this video. Thank you.